Some people find that after retiring from their career in their 50s and 60s, they still long to go back to the workplace. At times, though, their search for a new job can be rebuffed due to employers' stereotypical views of older workers. And these include older workers that lack stamina, pick up skills less quickly, or find it hard to adjust to a position lower down the ladder than what they're used to. But some employers are taking the risk, and they're discovering that having older people on the team can be a win-win situation for everybody. Our Sunday special report. Yeah. Oh, yeah, three people, right? Okay, good. Let's go now. Go, go. Zhong Meihui is 59 years old. The best part of her day is going to a local English cram school to be with the children. Good job, Anderson. Quiet. Sit down, please. Okay, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Teacher says. Zhong leads activities in the classroom and corrects the children's homework after the lesson ends. She worked more than 20 years in an import and export business before the company was dissolved two years ago, and she was forced to retire. Unwilling to spend her retirement hanging around at home, she went out to find a new job. My family was delighted because I was bursting with energy at home, always staring at them. So they all said, "Mom, you should go to work. It's a real shame that you don't have a job. I want to have something to do. I don't want to have nothing to do." A new tribe of Taiwanese retirees, aged 50 to 65, is emerging, afraid that retirement will cost them their sense of direction in life or accelerate the decline of their physical or mental health. They're doing all they can to get back into the workplace. <laughs> Yang Guiying, age 61, used to work as an accountant for a large domestic food manufacturer. Now she's moved into a sector quite foreign to her, catering, and she's starting over from scratch. People say different trades are worlds apart. The tricks of the trade and the skills you need vary from field to field. You have to adjust your attitude and humbly ask for training. It's an opportunity. If you don't try something out, how do you know you're not suited to it? This Taipei coffee shop has 11 employees, five of whom are aged between 55 and 75. Their shifts don't exceed five hours a day, and the ordering system uses a large touchscreen display so the older employees with less sharp eyesight can easily use it. But not all employers are willing to hire older applicants. Because the stereotype in the past was that when you get older, your ability to shoulder burdens at work decreases. The first stereotype many employees have about older people is that they have less stamina than young people. But in fact, one simple solution is for employers to arrange shifts with a suitable mix of younger and older people who can jointly manage heavier work. The second stereotype older employees have to put up with is that their ability to learn new things is second rate. For example, a young person can learn to make coffee in two days, but an older employee may need three or even five days to get the knack. A young person's probation period is three months. In that time, we want them to master all the skills. But for older people, we may need to extend the probation period to 12 months. Some employers worry that if an older applicant held a position of high status in their previous career, it may be more time-consuming to communicate with them or to change their way of thinking. But once that psychological barrier is overcome, this can actually become one of the older people's greatest assets. They help the company economize on more and more costs. For example, when there's something that could be improved, they tell you straight away. They make suggestions like, shouldn't we cut this step out? Shouldn't we improve in this area? Working at the reception desk, Zhong Meihui uses the language and the status of a mother to build a closer rapport with the pupil's parents. She knows how to talk to them and give them a friendly feeling. Some parents are less comfortable chatting, but because older people have more life experience, they know how to break the ice and they can start up a conversation very naturally. 
Employers also realize that older workers may have sharper perceptions and more empathy. Once we had a business owner come in here, he just sat down and coughed a little. She went to get a glass and asked the chef in the kitchen to crack a glove with garlic in it. Then she poured in hot water and gave it to the customer, telling him it would stop his cough. Because of that, he brought many new customers to our restaurant. There are certainly opportunities for those who want to re-enter the job market in middle to late age. You just have to choose an industry that fits your strengths and personal qualities. In this era when Taiwanese society is rapidly aging and birth rates are low, older people are becoming an indispensable part of the workforce.